anniversary, baby. Have passport, will travel. <laughs> Ever the obedient employees were always happy to oblige when the boss assigns a trip to Paris or Bermuda or Cairo. You couldn't say no. I'll never forget the view from atop the Costa Rican rainforest or the delight of swimming with dolphins off Grand Bahama Island. Delving into the mysteries and mindsets of other countries is a chronicle staple and a real eye-opener. Summer in Iceland. Hard to believe. <laughs> One of the last taboos of travel. Cuba. Inna Shannon was shrouded in mist the morning I arrived. The town lies on the Bandon River in Ireland's southernmost county of Cork. I was here on a pilgrimage of sorts in search of some evidence of my ancestors. Here we are. We have one here now. That's it. Is it? That's it. It's Thursday afternoon in Cairo, about 3 p.m. A symphony of noise fills the air. Dawn in Thailand. The Buddhist monks gather at the Wat Benjamin Bow Pit, the marble temple. They will eat one meal this day, and the citizens of Bangkok bring it to them. It is a special week in a special place. Jerusalem at Easter, at Ramadan, at Passover. The faithful stream to the Dome of the Rock, the second holiest place in Islam next to Mecca, the place where Muhammad is said to have ascended to heaven. This is a tense place. Islam in the middle of a Jewish state. 100 yards away, there are different prayers. Greece is a land of stark geographic contrasts. Rugged mountains meet placid waters that weave through a myriad of islands. What is special about being Greek? I think history. <laughs> Unit history, that's what makes us very proud. and I'm on a hunt for the best bargain in London at Bermondsley Antique Market. Why so early? Because to find a masterpiece in this mishmash, you have to get up before the sun shines, bring your flashlight, and haggle till tea time. A confession. One of my life's ambitions is to learn to play the bagpipe. So, here goes. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Well, <laughs> you need to blow considerably harder than oh. this. <laughs> Between 500 acres of rock and the Mediterranean Sea sits Monaco, all one and a half square miles of it. Prince Albert, heir to the throne, is now 35 years old, the only son of Prince Rainier and the late Grace Kelly. She enchants with beauty. For us, art, it's a part of ourselves. Dazzles with style. They have a feeling, a flair. Seduces the senses. You smell the past. You smell the history. Very ancient, very beautiful. Paris has a mood of its own. Traveling on assignment, all in the name of journalism, is a tireless and thankless endeavor. But someone has to do it. So when a ticket to Aruba landed in my lap, I said, Boss, I'll make you proud. Bimini and Stripe waste no time impressing us as we head a mile offshore. And finally, here it is, my dolphin kiss from Stripe. Superlatives flow like Caribbean sunshine on the island of Montserrat. Banana yellow, flamingo pink, azure, turquoise, sapphire blues, rum red and emerald green, even snow white. What better way to shake off the gray winter blahs than to soak in the colors of the Caribbean? God 
save the queen. Spend enough time in Bermuda and you start to fantasize about owning a piece of this place. Forty Palms is a four-bedroom home on Glebe Hill in Tuckerstown, a neighborhood that counts Ross Perot, Michael Bloomberg, and Silvio Berlusconi among its residents. Now, what could I walk away with this property for if I had my checkbook with me today? Well, uh, that would make my day. Uh, <laughs> it is listed at nine and a half million dollars. This is the tropical rainforest, one of the most complex yet least understood places on Earth. Few people have ever been up into the rainforest canopy. The trick is getting there. Using a single rope to ascend 100 feet can be a little unnerving. I don't think there's anybody who's come up into this tree or any other tree who hasn't been deeply impressed. Time for Captain Kidd to climb back aboard the Rum Reach. There were caves to explore, maidens to rescue, booty and plunder all around. The American Virgin Islands, not a bad way to while away a winter or a lifetime. Dear boss, please forward my mail.